In a cramped warehouse on the outskirts of the Lithuanian capital Vilnius, a small group of volunteers pack supplies. Gas masks, helmets and bulletproof vests, all destined for the battlefields on Ukraine's eastern front. The grassroots blue-yellow movement has been helping Ukraine's government forces since the conflict with Russia-backed rebels began in 2014. The surge in heavy fighting in recent months has seen an increase in non-lethal military donations. Ukrainian soldiers and people are very happy when we came to them. Even though we, we can um, have not much stuff to bring them, but they are uh, very happy for our attention. Lithuania, like their Baltic neighbours Latvia and Estonia, fear they could be the next victims of Russian aggression if the conflict in Ukraine is left unresolved. It's already claimed 10,000 lives. If we follow this, this, this precedent, it means that uh, no agreements are valid and such principles as uh, territorial integrity and sovereignty, so they are not uh, valid. Lithuania has already pumped millions of euros into Ukraine through fundraising events and government aid. The country is also treating hundreds of wounded Ukrainian soldiers in its hospitals. Army Lieutenant Alexander Valevich is one of them. Severely concussed during heavy shelling, he ended up in Drushkininkai. Historically, we used to be one state a long time ago. Later, we were separated. But I feel that we remain soul brothers. Lithuania took our pain. After a 24-hour journey, the truck bringing donations from the Blue-Yellow movement has finally reached its destination. In the town of Avdivka, the Lithuanian flag is hoisted up just a mile away from the front line. As troops gather around the truck, some of them glimpse at a message meant to give them strength. Lithuania is with you. Vitnia Sardava, Associated Press, Vilnius.